Hello, welcome to the graduated voice updates. Be ready for the real tea, the tales to tell. Well, the former first lady of Kenya, Mamangina Kenyatta's paycheck, has raised a lot of eyebrows in Kenya among netizens after it was revealed that her monthly pension has moved actually it has been increased remember with everything that is happening in Kenya whereby the government is saying they're not in a position to pay the public servants and all and all well for this case her monthly pension monthly pension is the money that she's given it's like a salary that she's given every month it has moved from 500 uh, 568,218 shillings to 679,800 Kenya shillings. This is something that has raised eyebrows with the ongoing financial crisis in the country. Remember, this is an increase with of over 100,000 Kenya shillings just for her. Well, a lot of criticism has been directed towards these retirement benefits that most of the state officials and public figures and inclusion of Mamangina receive due to the departure from the public office with immense wealth, including valuable properties, which are worth more than billions of shillings and other business ventures. According to certain lawyers, this uh, payment does not comply with the Presidential Retirement Benefits Act that became effective in January the, the year 2003. These lawyers maintain that the law cannot be retroactively applied and should only pertain to the spouse of a president who is currently serving or retired and passed away after 2003. Okay? This is according to the business daily. Well, the Presidential Retirement Benefits Act states that the surviving spouse of a retired or deceased president is entitled to receive 50% of the presidential pension. Okay. It also remains unclear if uh, the current that is Margaret Kenyatta's pension has been increased at this time the same way for Mamangina was increased. Let me just quote what exactly the Presidential Retirement Benefits Act states. I quote, the sp spouse benefits upon the death of a serving president or of a retired president who is in receipt of or who is entitled to a pension under this act. His surviving spouse shall be entitled to benefits amounting to 50% of such pensions. That is, uh, end of quote. Well, this, she should be receiving just 50%. And remember, this act was enacted after 2003. So it is being argued that she should not be receiving this amount of money because the president who she was married to, that is the first president of Kenya, passed on before this act was enacted. I don't know what to take on this. You can tell me in the comment section. I remember you can choose to like this video, share it out there and what if it's happening and all about it and if i know all about it i will tell you all about it so make sure that you subscribe turn on the notification bell to get the realty details to tell